Update of 2020, this is the top 10 50cc scooters available new in the UK. Kicking off the list is the Sim Mask 50. It's a simple approach to a 50cc scooter that can be relied upon for excellent economy of more than 100 miles per gallon from its 5.2 litre tank. It also has good storage and will fit a full face helmet under the seat. From new, the Mask 50 comes with a three year warranty as standard and shares the same air cooled engine and CVT auto transmission as the best selling Jet 50. It's on the market for £1,599. A couple of key stats here. The seat height is 800mm, of course it's an automatic, and it has a front disc and rear drum weighing just 107kg. Next up at number 9 is a legendary 50cc from Piaggio, the Zip 50. Another favourite for zipping around the city streets, sorry. The Zip 50 is all about comfort and is known as an iconic utility scooter. A new four-stroke motor replaces the two-stroke from a few years ago, providing improved economy and lower emissions. You still find an adjustable seat on the Zip with free heights and a spacious underseat compartment for a helmet. The Zip 50 is £1,929 from new. A few key stats here. The seat height that I mentioned is 750, 765 or 780 mil, depending on what height you have it. And it has a 6.6 .6 litre tank that will get you around 100 miles per gallon, but no doubt a little bit more than that. It weighs just 95 kilograms as well, so it's extremely light. At number eight is the Speedfight 50 from Peugeot. Now this one does have a few different model variants, mostly colour options, but we're looking at the Speedfight 4 50cc. With 13 inch wheels that in the words of Piaggio's website are well stable, belt driven and air cooled, the motor is also well fast as it's a two stroke single cylinder yet still Euro 4 compliant. You'll still top 30 miles per hour but at least you'll have a great time getting there. Comfort is no issue either, an 800mm seat and 104 kilograms wet weight means it will feel sturdy on the road. Stopping power is provided by Shurikane discs and alongside the digital dash is a smartphone holder support and a USB socket. The Speedfight 4 is £2,499 and is available in mad black as well. Wicked. A few key stats on the Speedfight 4. So it has front and rear disc brakes, it weighs 104 kilograms and it has an eight litre tank which will get you around 134 miles per gallon. A stylish little scooter from Sinis, the Encanto 50 is number seven. At an incredibly good price of £1,299, this little scooter will come with 12 months warranty front and rear disc brakes and a super low weight of 80 kilograms. Whilst the under seat storage may not fit a full size helmet, you could get a top box as an additional storage option to make this the perfect local commuter. Cine say this will comfortably return over 120 miles per gallon and that'll be from a 4.7 litre tank. I don't think you'll be that far off from that figure to be fair. The Encanto is Spanish for charm and the price of this scooter is certainly charming, £1,145. A few of the key stats from the Encanto 50. It's got a 730 mil seat height. It weighs just at 80 kilograms and it has a front and rear disc. At number six, we have the Aprilia SR 50R. Heavily influenced by the sports bikes of Aprilia, the SR 50R is a great looking little 50cc scooter and it's definitely going to be at the top of a load of rider wish lists. The SR50R remains Euro 4 compliant thanks to an electronically operated carburetor with dedicated control unit and a snake bite exhaust. Two disc brakes, 13 inch low profile wheels and top ergonomics. If there was ever a purely sports focused 50cc then this would be it. Expect to pay around £2,400. A few of the key stats, the seat height is 795mm, it has a 7 litre fuel tank and it will get you around 115 miles per gallon. It does have, of course, a front and rear disc as well. Now, as we make our way along this list, I would just let you know that Bike Matters is powered by Lexham Insurance. So a huge thank you goes to Lexham, of course. But Lexham do provide specialist quotes for 50cc and 125cc and up scooters. So if you're looking at getting your scooter insured, give Lexham Insurance a try. If you give them a call, let them know that Bike Matters sent you, or you can just go direct to lexhaminsurance.co.uk and do your quote online. Number five, a Direct Bikes DB50 QT-11. 
Now a scooter that's high up on the list due to selling so well and going into 2020 is very likely to keep on going in the top lists. I'd imagine due to the price being so low at £1,199 or 949 on sale at the time of writing. They do keep this scooter nice and simple. The styling is out of a classic 50cc scooter. And again, for this price, you can't go wrong for an economical 50cc runner with a 5.4 litre tank to get you comfortably over 120 miles per gallon. If you want to be on the road with a strict budget, you can consider this one. A few of the key stats here. The seat height is 715 mil and it has a 5.4 litre tank to return around 120 miles per gallon. It has a front disc and a rear drum brake and it only weighs 80 kilograms. At number four is the Lexmoso Nano 50. Now it's doing really well in 2019, so it's a good shout out for a 2020 list. It's the Lexmoto Nano 50. If you're looking for a 50cc scooter to get you around comfortably and on a budget, this could well be the one for you. With digital display, USB charger, luggage rack and under seat storage, not enough for a helmet, but it is a small scooter. The Nano 50 is a perfect consideration as a cheap local commuter. It weighs just 93 kilograms, has a low 760 mil seat and has a 6.2 litre tank, all for a ridiculously low 12.99. A few of the key stats here, the seat height is 760 mil. It has a 6.2 litre tank, which will get you around 100 miles per gallon. And it has a front disc brake and a rear drum brake. One of the go-to scooters for younger riders and 50cc commuters alike, the Aerox 4 is at number three. A great option for those looking for a reliable Japanese scooter with some sports styling. Squint and you'll think it's an R1. Of course, practical and economic benefits of a normal 50cc are to be expected. But there's loads of storage for a helmet, tubular frame and a hydraulic suspension for top sports handling on the road. The Aerox 450cc is a scooter that has inspired many of the competitors on the list. So it deserves to be near the top. Expect to pay around £2,699 for this scooter. Key stats, it weighs around 97 kilograms, it has a front and rear disc brake, and the seat height is 817 mil. At number two is the Peugeot Kisby 50. The Kisby is a great seller for Peugeot, and in 2020 comes in a few different variants. We'll look at the standard four stroke model, although other than the color, I can't see any mechanical differences to the RS model, which gets shuricane discs. As you'd expect, the Kisby 50 is a stylish way to get to work and commute around the town with an accessible 760 mil seat, light running weight of 90 kilograms and a smooth economical four stroke air cooled motor. It's only 1,649 pounds for the cheapest option as well. And it has a 6.5 litre tank, which will get you around 150 miles per gallon. At the top of our list is the Lexmoto Echo 50. This is a great option for 50cc riders who are looking for an economical, reliable and fun way to get around. There's two Echo models, the Normal and the Plus, which has slightly bigger 12 inch wheels and is slightly heavier, but this one is 83 kilograms. Both are air cooled four strokes with an estimated miles per gallon of 140 from its 5.8 litre tank. The Echo keeps it comfortable and simple, is one of the top sellers from 2019 and is no doubt going to do extremely well again in 2020. This one will cost you just £1,099 to buy brand new. A couple of the key stats on the Echo 50, the seat height is 760mm, it's got that 5.8 litre tank, has a front disc brake and a rear drum brake. So that is our top 10 50cc scooters for 2020. Of course, let us know in the comments if you think we've missed out on one or if you think that you've got a favourite scooter that we haven't included here. I know there's a few that I would include, like the Ruckus or the Zuma from Honda, which is an absolute favourite of mine, but it's not sold brand new in 2020, so I couldn't include it. Watch it down there in the comments, leave a like on the video, it really does help us out. Subscribe to Bike Matters and hit the notification bell if you want to be notified of all of our latest content as it goes up. But thank you so much for watching and I will see you on the next one.